Snyder, the biggest action star on the planet, is missing. You need to bring him back. Or Jodie's movie is dead. Why me? You're a stuntman. Nobody's gonna notice you. That's your job. No offense. I mean, some taken. The Fall Guy is the newest film from director David Leitch and stars Ryan Gosling as Colt Seavers, a down and out stuntman who must find the missing star of his ex-girlfriend's blockbuster film. Okay, so be honest with yourselves, and maybe this is just me. How many of you knew this was based off a TV show from the 80s before like two weeks ago or when you first heard about this movie? Yeah, someone told me that about a few weeks ago and I almost didn't believe them until I looked up the show and saw that the character in that show also was named Colt Seavers and I was like, huh, I never even knew the show existed. But despite a few small similarities from that show, it almost has nothing to do with this movie. It was just something I thought I should bring up like every other review is going to. Trust me, I know. But going into this movie, I was really looking forward to it. Now that's all I gotta say. I was really looking forward to it. I just really needed a transition into the review and I couldn't think of one. Well, in all seriousness, I'm gonna start by saying that I really hope the Academy takes a good hard look at this movie. Oh, not for like best picture or anything, but just for how much the work of a stuntman really does go into making a movie. This whole movie is just a love letter to the men and women who risk their lives every day for our entertainment and it shows them all the appreciation they deserve and I think David Leitch was the perfect choice to direct this movie because he was once a stuntman himself. There's actually a scene where Ryan Gosling is asked by someone, hey, do they ever give recognition for stuntmen at the Oscars? And he says no, which I think is bullshit, because I think we need to give these men and women all the recognition that they deserve. I mean, would you want to be the stunt person in some piece of crap like Madam Webb, and they get severely injured or even die from it, and get no recognition at all? Yeah, it sucks. Both being a part of Madam Webb and not getting acknowledged for your hard work. I mean, unless it's like Orgasmo when you're just having to use a stunt cock. Watch that movie, it's fucking great. So yeah, not to shock the shit out of anyone, but of course this movie is filled to the brim with stunts and all of them are done great, whether it be in the cinematography or the choreography, it's all done great here and Ryan Gosling even does some of his own stunts here and there. It's also a movie about making movies and there are some moments where they'll actually give some commentary on making movies. And you know what? I love movies about making movies, and every once in a while there are points where this movie made me want to pick up a camera and start filming shit. Remember back in 2022 when we had so many movies about making movies? And three Pinocchio movies? That was weird. Despite this being sold as more of an action comedy, it is also a romantic comedy at the same time, and both Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt have a lot of great chemistry together and some pretty good banter. There are also points in this movie where if this was an actual movie that they were making, it would have been so awkward for everyone on set when they would start bickering with each other about past relationships and like incorporating it into the plot of the movie that they're making. Are we also not going to mention how the two leads in this movie were just co-stars in both Barbie and Oppenheimer and now they're in a movie together? Now we just need a movie starring Cillian Murphy and Margot Robbie. I've seen a lot of people complain about the runtime and how this movie is too long or they just felt the runtime. Not for me though, I thought this flew by and it never got to the point where I was bored or just didn't care about what was going on. And with this movie being about making movies and what makes them so engaging and whatnot, I'm surprised one thing they didn't mention was the movie having a great soundtrack because the soundtrack here was one of my favorite things in it. Now with this being based off of an old TV show, I'm not entirely sure there's any references here and there, but there are a few homages to other old TV shows, like there's one shot that I swear to god looks like it's straight out of the Dukes of Hazzard, and Colt does wear a Miami Vice jacket throughout the movie. And when that Dukes of Hazzard looking shot came on, it took all my strength for me not to go, yeah! Now when it comes to problems with the movie, I can't really think of any that I have, but as I said before, just because I don't have any issues with the movie doesn't mean that's perfect. But in the end, I had a really good time at The Fall Guy, and it's really a great love letter to all the stuntmen out there. It's got some good lead performances, great stunts, and it's just an all-around fun time. I definitely recommend checking it out, and I think you'll have a good time with it too. I'm gonna give The Fall Guy a B plus. Oh, and if you're curious as to why on my thumbnail I'm blocking a majority of the title, have you seen the poster for this movie? Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Subscribe to my channel, like this video, turn on the notification bell, and I'll be back later with more reviews. See you then.